welded down onto that that marble, marble thing. This second attempt to remove Robert E. Lee and the soldier riding with him started at 3.30 in the afternoon. Under heavy police presence to keep any potential protest at bay, the workers arrived with their company name not on their trucks and their license plates either covered or removed. So they couldn't be identified in the subject of threats like what happened to the first work crew that tried this. There's no way that can support it. And in the four hours they worked, conversations about history and race and relics of the Civil War were the order of the day behind police lines. I, don't know, I see both sides to it. Two young women mostly indifferent to the entire political discussion. I feel like to make everyone happy, don't store it. At least put it in like a museum for people to go and look at it. Yeah, right. It's a piece of history, basically. It's, it's U.S. Piece, history. Hey, it's a piece of history. I mean, we need to, we need to look at this and learn from it. While three men talked, insulted by the removal of a tribute to Southern heritage that's been standing in this park since 1936. I think the funny thing is, in a way, this resurrects old wounds rather than heals them. I don't think the city has handled this in a very democratic way. A 74-year-old woman who explained she didn't see what all the fuss was about in the first place. It's just been a part of my life, all my life. And every time I've looked at it, have never once thought about oppression or slavery. I'm going to enjoy this. But in the view of an African-American mom and daughter, the removal of a tribute to a Confederate leader and his message was 81 years overdue. I was feeling kind of like you're unwanted. And it's like, no. We're going to learn from our past mistakes. And I'm like, feels good. Bots up. Oh, God. Mostly cheers echoed through this park when the statue was finally wrested from its base and loaded onto a trailer for its next trip to a City of Dallas storage facility. No violence, no major protests, just another trip down a Dallas street for a Confederate general. The end of an era. Yeah. We'll have to see what the park becomes. And there it goes riding into the sunset while the debate over what his legacy should be. This isn't what America stands for. Lives on.